Hi friends, it's me Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist. And I know that the energy is super heavy today. I know there's a lot of anxiety going around. I'm feeling it myself. So I pulled some cards for the collective. Please keep in mind, this may not resonate with everybody, but it definitely resonates with me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hand it out here. First of all, I want you to know you're not alone. This anxiety, this, um, feeling of needing to do something, all of this, I feel it too. And it's not just me. There's lots of people on TikTok that are feeling it. I bet if you check the comments, you'll see several people. What my guides, your guides, universe at large have to tell you about this is this is just part of the stormy ride that we're going through right now. It is stormy and there's a lot coming up. There's a lot that needs to be dealt with, acknowledged and released. Working to release these things is what's gonna give us that sense of relief that we're looking for. But these things that we're learning to release are hard to let go of because they've been part of our life for a very long time. Things like feelings of limitation, feelings of I can't do it, feelings of I don't believe in myself. All of those feelings are coming around as very big, heavy emotions that need to be acknowledged and let go. And believe me, I get it. It's not easy to change the world outside of you when the world inside of you is feeling so much turmoil. It can also be really hard when you don't really know what you wanna do, but you just know, I don't wanna do this. You know what I mean? We're being asked to listen to ourselves, listen to our inner selves and work toward a goal of doing something that brings you a feeling of satisfaction and joy and not just working for something that gives some, fills an obligation for someone else or you know, just isn't joyful. And I know that's not easy to do, I get it. I'm right there with you, friends. I, I don't know what you think I do all day, but I work a full-time job and it's hard sometimes to find myself there when I wanna be here, you know what I mean? But again, it's all about balance. Understanding that your passion is gonna lead you where you're going is very important. Listening to your higher self right now is also gonna be very important. One of the best things you can do for yourself is to ground. You can do that outside if it's nice where you are, or you can get a grounding mat if you really want to go that way. But really grounding can be done in meditation also. Just pulling your thoughts down, regathering re up all that anxiety and just give it a name, acknowledge it. It's a lot like Rumpelstiltskin right? The unknown is scary. We don't know what to expect of it. We don't know. We don't want to feel this anxiety because we're like, I don't know why I feel this way. And so we want to push it away. But what I want to tell you and what my guides are telling me is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all why you're feeling it. What matters is that you're feeling it. Just allow yourself to feel it. And I know that sucks because anxiety is the worst, but tell yourself, Give yourself permission to cry, to be anxious, to pace, whatever it is you do, acknowledging that I understand I'm feeling anxiety. I understand it's temporary. I understand all of my needs are met in this moment. I understand I'm feeling anxiety. I understand it's temporary. Whatever you need to say to yourself to bring you more present in the moment is going to be very helpful to let go of that anxiety. But I know it's hard, and I'm really sorry. And if there was anything at all that I could do about it, Believe me, I would be doing it. I'm struggling too, just like you. And people like me, sometimes people think I have it all together or we have it all together. And no, that couldn't be further from the truth. Just being honest. So keep that in mind, okay? If this reading resonates with you, that's great. Save it for later because sometimes it come, you forget after the reading and you can come back later and see it. And just so you know, I will be doing live readings today at three o'clock. Professor Brown, my guest, canceled because he got an offer to go do something really, really fun. And I'm very happy for him to go do that. We'll have him on another time. So at three o'clock today, I'm going to come on and do some readings if you'd like one. But stick this one in your back pocket and hang on to it for later. And just know it's going to be okay. It's one day at a time. And if you need to make it five minutes at a time, that's fine too. Just five minutes at a time. That's all you have to get through, friends. Remember, I believe in you. I believe your magic. Maybe embrace that a little bit. See ya.